Good Thursday afternoon, friends. Welcome back to College Sports Corner. Uh, man, tough guys for you in Florida. Feel bad for y'all what's going through there right now. Um, living here on the Texas Gulf Coast, we know what it's like. And uh, prayers and thoughts go to you guys and everybody in the wake of the, or in the path of this storm. Uh, it's getting pretty bad. Uh, just pray for all you guys. Stay strong. Uh, man, have faith and Start the rebuilding process when it happens. Like I said, we've done it before tons of times living here on the Gulf Coast. But our thoughts and prayers are with to all of you. Uh, we're going to go over week five preview. We've got some news here, too. We're going to go over before uh, before we start. Hit that little subscribe button so you don't miss anything. Uh, we got some games that got moved because of that storm. Uh, we'll go over those. I know Florida got moved to Sunday and South Carolina got moved to tonight. Uh, there's some other games that moved. Um, I forget where, what day and all that they are. But uh, anyway, we'll go over all these games. So let's go over some news. Hey, things happen in threes, don't they? Well, the third coach to get fired this year, Georgia Tech's Jeff Collins. He was 10 and 28. And also the athletic director, Todd Stansberry. He's out too. They got rid of him too. Um, I've seen some guys on the news talking about how Jeff Collins – you know, for years, Georgia Tech ran that triple option. And uh, when Jeff Collins came in, he wanted to change all that, go a different direction. Um, didn't work out. Like I said, 10-28 and 28 record there at Georgia Tech. Um, you can win at Georgia Tech. We've all seen that in the past. Um, when, when 1990, I think. Yeah, they split a national championship with Colorado. But, man, they had a lot of good teams throughout the 90s and in the 2000s. So you can win there. Uh, don't know about the facilities. I don't know if they need to be upgraded or anything. I've never read anything about that, but you know, they just need to get a good coach who can recruit some people, and who knows, maybe Georgia Tech will be back up there again one day. Uh, Georgia defensive back, Javon Bullard. He was arrested early Sunday morning, DUI and other misdemeanors. Uh, don't know if he'll be playing this weekend. I'm guessing probably not, but who knows. Uh, Syracuse defensive tackle, Terry Lockett. Uh, poor guy, he's out for the season with a knee injury. Uh, praise to you, Terry. Hope you get better soon, man. Uh, that sucks. Hey, are you a fan of the Shula Bowl? Florida Atlantic versus Florida International. Well, they've announced it will go on. Um, they will continue 2024 through the 2027 season after Florida Atlantic leaves uh, Conference USA for the AAC. But a lot of fans in that game, so good for them that it's going to keep going on. Uh, okay. We all know Texas Tech beat Texas last Saturday. Uh, the celebration at the end, fans stormed the field. One dumbass, I call him a dumbass because he could have gotten his ass severely hurt. Um, Shove Longhorn player OU, how do you say his last name? Ogahufa? Ogahufa? Shoved him to the ground. It's like, what are you, stupid? Probably drunk, but anyway, stupid anyway. Um, yeah, even Steve, even Steve Sarkeesian came on there and said, man, that could have ended really badly for that guy. I agree. I mean, if you're going to ship a football player, whatever they do to you afterwards, hey, you deserve it for being stupid. Uh, Big 12 fined Tech $50,000 for the fans rushing the field, but one of the uh, sponsors there at the stadium, they're going to pay that $50,000 for Tech. Uh, probably said, hey, it was worth it. We beat Texas. So, uh, Speaking of Texas, running back uh, Bijan Robinson, he says he's been carrying a football all over campus because he doesn't want to fumble ever again. Uh, says teammates and even a couple of uh, students have tried to knock it out, but he said, nope, they couldn't do it. I kept hanging on to it. Uh, must be a fan of the movie The Program. Remember that? The running back kept fumbling, so James Conn said, you're going to hold on to this ball forever. If anybody brings it back to me besides you, you're in trouble. So I guess he likes that movie. But so far it's been working out for him. Uh, Boise State quarterback Hank Bachmeyer, he's entered the transfer portal. I guess after losing to UTEP last Friday night, he said, I'm having enough of this. Forget I'm out of here. Uh, his choice, see where he lands, if he lands anywhere. Uh, this news sucks for me personally, and Aggie fans, Anaya Smith out for the season with a leg injury uh, last uh, Saturday night. Remember, we all saw him on the sideline on crutches and in a boot. So, sucks, but hey, it's the way the ball bounces sometimes. All right, tonight we have uh, some games. 
Uh, one game that could have been good, but I don't know what happened to Utah State. Uh, they're one and three now, but anyway, they're playing BYU, who's three and one, 8 p.m. Eastern on ESPN. Uh, Utah State has 364 yards of penalties this year. BYU only has 222. Uh, BYU outpasses and outrushes Utah State. Um, quarterback Hall, 1,164 passing yards, nine touchdowns, and an interception. Uh, Logan Bonner for Utah State, he's a good quarterback, but I just don't know what's happened to them this year. Uh, last few years, they've been good, but no well. And the other game tonight, like I said, uh, South Carolina and South Carolina State got moved to tonight because of Hurricane Ian. Um, I think I saw it was going to be on the SEC Network. I'm not for sure, but you can always check that. Uh, tomorrow night, uh, tomorrow night, Friday night, Tulane 3-1 and one at Houston 2-2. Two and two. That's going to be 7 p.m. Eastern on ESPN. Uh, Tulane outpasses U of H, but the running games are pretty even in this one. Uh, both Pratt and Toon have thrown for over 900 yards apiece and have seven TDs and three interceptions each. So they kind of mirror each other. Uh, let's see. UTSA 2-2 two two at Middle Tennessee 3-1. and one. Middle Tennessee coming off that big high and that win against Miami. That'll be 7.30 Eastern on CBS Sports. Uh, UTSA averages 479 yards a game. Middle Tennessee, 360. Uh, Harris for UTSA, 1,310 passing yards, 10 touchdowns, 2 interceptions. Cunningham for Middle Tennessee, 1,000 passing yards, 7 touchdowns, 3 interceptions. Uh, both teams have over 230 yards of penalty so far this year. UTSA has made 104 first downs, though. So they can offense can move the ball. And you wonder why they're two and two, but hey. Uh San Diego State two and two at Boise State two and two. That'll be on 8 p.m. Eastern on FS1. Um San Diego State averages 294 total yards. Boise State 283 total yards a game. Uh pretty good one here. Look, or it looks like it could be pretty good. Uh hey, late night football on Friday night. If you go to a high school game, you can come home and watch this one. 10.30 Eastern on ESPN. Washington 4-0 against UCLA 4-0. Uh, Washington averages 162 rushing yards a game, where UCLA averages 221. But Washington averages 369 passing yards. UCLA 288 passing yards a game. Uh, Washington's Penix Jr., 1,388 passing yards and 12 touchdowns so far through four games this year. Uh, Thompson Robinson for UCLA, 896 passing yards. Not too bad. Eight touchdowns. Um, Washington, they've made 108 first downs this year, but they do have 238 yards and penalties. For UCLA, has made 106 first downs this year and racked up 237 yards on penalties. Um, a lot of people say in UCLA, yeah, they're 4-0, but uh, I haven't seen any of their games. I, this is just hearsay. That uh, they're not really playing all that good. They're just playing good enough to win. Uh, we'll we'll see. We'll see tomorrow night. See how good they actually are. We'll see how good actually this Washington team is, because uh, man, they're looking a hell of a lot better than they did last year when they had what was his name Jimmy Lake as coach. All them problems arose. So yeah, good Friday late night football. Um, Eleven p.m. Eastern on CBS Sports. New Mexico two and two. At UNLV three and one. Uh, New Mexico. 237 total yards a game. UNLV averages 440 total yards a game. Uh, Saturday, Louisville 2-2 two and two at Boston College 1-3, and three, noon Eastern on ACC Network. Louisville is averaging 450 total yards a game. BC, 283 total yards a game. Uh, this one might be pretty good. Noon, for some reason, it's on ESPN+. Plus. Texas Tech 3 and 1 at Kansas State 3 and 1. Uh Texas Tech averages 476 total yards a game. K State averages 393 total yards a game. Uh why that's on ESPN Plus, I don't know. I heard something that every conference has a thing where at least every school has to stream a game and won't be on TV so I don't know. Go figure. Hey, noon Eastern, Michigan 4 0 at Iowa 3 and 1. Michigan outpasses and outrushes Iowa. Um, one thing about this is which Iowa team are you going to get? Are you going to get the one in the first two weeks of the season where they score, what does it score, like nine or 10 points total? 
or something like that in the first two games, or the one that actually scored points last week. They are playing in Iowa, but uh, boy, Iowa can't just afford a, 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 sl a slow start this game. They really can't. Uh, noon Eastern on ESPN2, Purdue 2-2, two two, Minnesota 4-0. Uh, Purdue actually outpasses Minnesota, but Minnesota outrushes Purdue. Uh, O'Connell for Purdue, 991 passing yards, 8 touchdowns. Or Ibram for Minnesota, 567 rushing yards and 8 touchdowns. Purdue averages 447 total yards. Minnesota, 543 total yards. Uh, noon Eastern on, B on uh, Big Ten Network. Illinois 3 and 1, Wisconsin 2 and 2, uh, Illinois DeVito 951 passing yards, 9 touchdowns, Mertz for Wisconsin 791 passing yards and 7 touchdowns. Uh, both teams are pretty even uh, in average rushing yards a game. Uh, both teams have over 240 yards of penalties so far this year. Uh, noon Eastern ESPN Plus, Eastern Washington 1 and 2 versus Florida 2 and 2. We talked about that one. It's not going to be Saturday. It's going to be Sunday, and I believe it's on noon also. Uh, I did see something about SEC Network. It had, it had listed ESPN Plus and then SEC next to it. So this game could be on ES, or SEC Network Sunday if you're not interested in watching any pro games or it's not a good pro game on that you're interested in. Uh, anyway, Florida outrushes Eastern Washington. The passing game is pretty even between the two. Uh, Eastern Washington's Talkington, though, he has thrown 10 touchdown passes in this one. Uh, South Carolina State, South Carolina, which we mentioned, got moved to tonight. Uh, South Carolina State, 1-2. and two. Gamecocks are 2-2. Two and two. At Gamecocks outrush and outpass State. Uh, South Carolina, they've racked up 238 yards on penalties so far this year. Uh, one I'm kind of looking forward to, noon Eastern on ESPN, Kentucky 4-0 at Ole Miss. Four no could be a pretty good one. Uh, Kentucky averages eighty two rushing yards a game, but they do get Chris Rodriguez back this week, so we'll see how he does. He hasn't played in a while. Um, I don't even know if he's been practicing because he's been, he was been in trouble. So hey, we'll find out those rushing if they uh, only average eighty two rushing yards this Saturday, or if it goes up because Rodriguez comes back. Ole Miss averages two hundred eighty rushing yards. Uh, Kentucky two hundred ninety six passing yards. Ole Miss, 207. Uh, UK's Levis, 1,185 passing yards, 10 touchdowns, 4 interceptions. Uh, Mississippi's Judkins, 429 rushing yards, 5 touchdowns. So those two guys to keep an eye on. Uh, Noon Eastern, ABC, OU, 3-1 and one at TCU, 3-0. and oh. uh, OU's Gabriel, 1,089 passing yards and 11 touchdowns. Dugan for TCU, 695 passing yards and eight touchdowns. Uh, both teams are pretty in average rushing and passing yards and total yards. This game's kind of even, but um, who knows? OU might be totally pissed off about what happened Saturday night, and they might pound TCU. Or TCU said, hey, let's get this uh, down and out OU team, see what happens. Uh, noon Eastern on CBS, Navy 1-2 and two at Air Force 3-1. and one. Um that might be CBS Sports because I think CBS has a 2.30 game, but uh, I don't know. You can always check the guide. Anyway, Navy 1-2 and two, Air Force 3-1. and one. Uh, These are running teams. Both teams average under 130 passing yards a game. Uh, both teams are under 100 yards in penalties. That's kind of rare right now because most of these people are 100, even over 200. So uh, pretty disciplined teams there. Well, I mean, they're military teams, so of course they'd be disciplined, huh? Uh, Noon Eastern, CBS Sports, Georgia State 0-4 at Army 1-2. Uh, Noon Eastern on ESPNU, Temple 2-2 two two at Memphis 3-1. Uh, Memphis, they got a better rushing and passing attack than Temple does. Um, so, see what happens. Uh, let's see, 130 Eastern on ESPN Plus, Texas State 2-2 two two at James Madison 3-0. Hey, uh, Texas State's Hatcher, 1,063 passing yards, 10 touchdowns, 4 interceptions. Northern Illinois, 1-3 and three at Ball State, 1-3. and three. That's 2 p.m. Eastern on ESPN+. Plus. Uh, 2 p.m. Eastern, ESPN+. Plus. UMass, 1-3 at Eastern Michigan, 2-2. Two and two. 2 p.m. Eastern, Pac-12 Network, could be a good one. Oregon State, 3-1 at Utah, 3-1. 
Uh, Oregon State averages 181 rushing yards. Utah, 214. Oregon State, 251 passing yards. Utah averages 263. And total yards, Oregon State averages 431 a game, where Utah averages 477 a game. Uh, Nolan for Oregon State, 913 passing yards, seven touchdowns, one interception. We're rising for Utah, 954 passing yards, 10 touchdowns, two interceptions. Uh, let's see here. Oregon State's Fenwick has four rushing touchdowns. Utah's Thomas has four rushing touchdowns. Uh, Oregon State got 265 yards of penalties racked up. Utah, 182. A little more discipline there. Uh, 3.30 Eastern on ABC, Wake Forest, 3-1. and one. Uh, At Florida State, 4-0. But I saw something about they either move that game or they might move that game because of things going on with the hurricane. So before you go looking for it, check it, Google it, whatever. Uh, Wake Forest got a better passing game, but Florida State's got a better rushing game. Hartman's got 962 passing yards, 13 touchdowns for Wake Forest. Um, Florida State's is averaging 504 total yards a game. This is a lot better looking Florida State team than we've seen the last few years. 330 Eastern on FS1. Mm -mm -mm. Michigan State, 2-2. Two two. What the hell has happened to Michigan State? At Maryland, 3-1. and one. Uh, Both these teams are close in uh, average rushing yards. Maryland's got a better passing game, though. Uh, that's understandable with Tua. He's got 1,102 passing yards and seven touchdowns. Michigan State's Thorns got 900 passing yards, seven touchdowns, but he's thrown six, six interceptions so far. Uh, Maryland is pushing 300 yards and penalties. They're just like right underneath there. So could be a deciding factor in that game. You never know. Uh, 3.30 Eastern, ACC Network, Vautech 2-2 two two at North Carolina 3-1. Uh, Virginia Tech's averaging 112 rushing yards a game. North Carolina, 195. Passing yards, they do a little better. They average 218 passing yards, where North Carolina averages 308. But uh, total yards are kind of down. Virginia Tech averages 330 total yards a game, where North Carolina, 502 passing yards a game. Uh, 330 Eastern, ESPN2 could be another good one. Iowa State 3-1 and one at Kansas. The 4-0 Kansas Jayhawks. Uh, Deckers for Iowa State, 1,209 passing yards, 10 touchdowns, 5 interceptions. Hutchinson has 403 receiving yards and 5 touchdowns for the Cyclones. Uh, Kansas' Daniels, 890 passing yards, 11 touchdowns, and 1 interception. He's also run for 320 yards and 4 touchdowns. So... Uh, Iowa State's good, but hey, man, Kansas State, they're on a roll. They got confidence. They're happy. It might be 5-0 by the Saturday night. Uh, Iowa State averages 399 total yards, where Kansas averages 472 total yards. 330 Eastern on Big Ten Network, Rutgers 3-1 at Ohio State 4-0. Uh, dare we say Rutgers is going to give them a game? Hey, rushing averages are close between both of these, uh, but Buckeyes, they... They dominate in the passing game. I think we've all seen it. Uh, Stroud, C.J. Stroud's got 16, 16 touchdown passes this year. Uh, 330 Eastern on ESPN. Northwestern, 1-3. The Fledgling Wildcats at Penn State, 4-0. Um, Holinsky for Northwestern. He's almost got 2,000, or how much has he got? He's almost got 1,300 passing yards. Five touchdowns, three interceptions. Hull has three rushing touchdowns. Uh, Clifford for Penn State, 890 passing yards, eight touchdowns. Singleton has four rushing touchdowns. Uh, Northwestern just announced they're building a brand new stadium. Uh, I forget how much it is, but it's a shitload. And if you look at Baylor Stadium, it kind of looks like Baylor Stadium, which is kind of disappointing because at the, old, at the Ryan Field now, I mean, you sit in the upper deck and you got the football game. You got the beautiful Lake Michigan out there. You know, see Chicago in the distance. Uh, I think this new stadium is going to destroy all that scenery. So, I don't know. Uh, Bowling Green one and three at Akron one and three three thirty Eastern on ESPN Plus. Uh, both teams average under hundred yards in rushing. 
They just don't have good rushing games. Um, Ohio, 2-2 two and two at Kent State, 1-3. and three, at 3.30 Eastern on ESPN+. Plus. Uh, 3.30 Eastern on NFL Network. Central Michigan, 1-3 and three at Toledo, 2-2. Two and two. Uh, Central Michigan averages 447 total yards a game, where Toledo only averages 383 total yards a game. Uh, yeah, here it is. I'm a, that may have been on CBS Sports, that uh, game we talked about earlier, because at uh, 3.30 Eastern, Alabama 4-0 and Arkansas 3-1. and uh, Teams are kind of close in the running game. Bama has an edge in the passing game. Uh, K.J. Jefferson for Arkansas, 941 passing yards, eight touchdowns. Young for Alabama, 1,029 passing yards, 13 touchdowns. Uh, Holden has 14, or uh, four touchdown catches. Um, Arkansas has made 97 first downs this year. Bama's 103 first downs. Uh, Arkansas, Arkansas has got 273 yards of penalties racked up. Uh, Bama, 255 yards of penalties racked up. Uh, another good one at the same time, 3.30 Eastern on Fox, 3-0 Oklahoma State at 3-1 Baylor. Oklahoma State averages 163 rushing yards for Baylor at 207. Uh, they average 348 passing yards for Baylor averages 224. Total yards for Oklahoma State averages is 511, Baylor 431. Uh, Sanders for Oklahoma State, 916 passing yards, 10 touchdowns. Shaping for Baylor, 773 passing yards and 7 touchdowns so far this year. Uh, Baylor's Reese. He's got six rushing touchdowns. Uh, let's see. Da, 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 da. Oh, Cowboys only have 134 yards and penalties. Not bad. 330 Eastern on ESPN Plus. Citadel 1 and 2 at Appalachian State 2 and 2. Citadel is averaging 231 total yards a game. App State 430 total yards a game. Uh, Appalachian State's Bryce. He's got 1,008 passing yards, 11 touchdowns, 2 interceptions. Um, and they're two and two after what they've done in the last few weeks. You figure they only have one loss, but yeah. uh, three thirty Eastern ESPN plus Gardner Webb one and three at Marshall two and two. Uh, LeBorn for Wash for, uh, for Marshall six rushing touchdowns. Uh, three thirty Eastern CBS Sports Fresno State one and two at UConn one and four. Three thirty Eastern ESPN plus Miami of Ohio two and two, fresh off that win at Northwestern last week. Versus Buffalo, 1-3. and three. Uh, 3.30 Eastern on ESPNU, 2-2 two and two SMU. 3-1 and one U at uh, three and one Central Florida. Check that game. I think that's one of the games I saw moved. I just didn't see what time and day and all that. But that's a right smack in the did Orlando, and they're just getting the shit pounded out of them right now. So I'm pretty sure that game's probably going to be moved or something. Um, SMU's got a better passing game. Morduse, Morduse, however you say his name, 1,385 passing yards, 12 touchdowns, 5 interceptions. I wouldn't be surprised if this guy is like the, uh, the guy from Western Kentucky last year, Bailey Zap. Zap. He had like, some crazy like five or 6,000 passing yards and like 30-something touchdowns. And nobody even mentions him for the Heisman. I wouldn't be surprised if this guy gets up there and he gets snubbed and doesn't even get mentioned for the Heisman. Keep an eye on his numbers this year because uh, he's a pretty damn good quarterback. Uh, USC's got a better, or UCF's got a better rushing game. Plumlee's got 827 passing yards, five touchdowns. Uh, he's also rushed for 390 rushing yards and four touchdowns. So Plumlee can throw and run. Uh, 4 p.m. Eastern, SEC Network, Texas A&M, 3-1, Mississippi State, 3-1. Uh, A&M only averages 129 rushing yards a game. You may be like, oh, crap. But Mississippi State only averages 81 rushing yards a game. Now, when you get to the passing game, Aggies average 194 passing yards. Mm, not bad, but not good. And then you go with Mississippi State, who Rodgers, you know, the quarterback, they average 351 passing yards a game. Rodgers got 1,386 passing yards, 16 touchdowns this year. Uh, 4 p.m. Eastern, ESPN+. Plus. Florida Atlantic, 2-3 and three at North Texas, 2-3. and three. Uh, These teams are pretty even, run, passing, and total yard averages. Uh, two good quarterbacks, though. Florida Atlantic's Perry, 
1,217 uh, passing yards, 13 touchdowns, three interceptions for North Texas's uh, Un Aun. I'll not say the guy's name. 1,316 passing yards, 12 touchdowns to six interceptions. So uh, battle of the quarterbacks in that one. Uh, 4 p.m. Eastern, ESPN Plus. Georgia Southern, 3-1 at Coastal Carolina, 4-0. Uh, Georgia Southern's got a better passing game. Uh, Coastal Carolina's got a better rushing game. Um, Georgia Southern averages 510 total yards. Coastal Carolina, 459 total yards a game. Georgia Southern's Van Drace, 1,290 passing yards, eight touchdowns, six interceptions. Coastal Carolina's McCall, 1,001 passing yards, 11 touchdowns, and an interception. 5 p.m. Eastern, ESPN Plus, Wagner, 0-3. At Syracuse, 4-0. Wagner only averages 64 rushing yards a game and 150 passing yards a game. And Syracuse numbers are pretty much double that. So, uh, Wagner, I feel for you. 5 p.m. Eastern on ESPN Plus. South Alabama 3 and 1 and Louisiana 2 and 2. Uh, South Alabama's got the better rushing game. 530 Eastern Pac-12 Network. This one might be interesting. Cal. California 3 and 1. And Washington State 3 and 1. California averages 176 rushing yards. Washington State 98 rushing yards. Cal averages 244 passing yards. Washington State. 276 passing yards. Uh, Cal o, Cal averages 420 total yards a game, where Washington State 374. So uh, that could be an interesting game. Uh, who would think Cal would be 3-1? And, and actually playing decent football. Uh, 6 p.m. Eastern, ESPN3, which they still have ESPN3. I figure everything was on ESPN+. Plus, but. Uh, New Hampshire 3-1 at Western Michigan 1-3. 6 p.m. Eastern on ESPN+. Plus. Liberty 3 and 1 at Old Dominion 2 and 2. 6 p.m. Eastern, ESPN Plus. UTEP coming off that big win against Boise last week. 2 and 3 versus Charlotte 1 and 4. Uh, 7 p.m. Eastern, ESPN Plus. Louisiana Monroe 2 and 2 at Arkansas 1 and 3. 7 p.m. Eastern, ESPN. LSU 3 and 1 at Auburn 3 and 1. LSU averages 199 rushing yards, where Auburn averages 174. LSU averages 288 passing yards, Auburn 203. And for total yards, LSU averages 487 a game, Auburn 377. Uh, Daniels for LSU has got six passing touchdowns this year and two rushing touchdowns. Uh, Bigsby for Auburn, four rushing touchdowns. This game is uh, make or break, I would guess I would say, for both teams. LSU beat Mississippi State last week. Had a couple things go their way. Made that possible. Auburn's kind of down. Uh, lot of, I see a lot of Auburn fans calling in and commenting how uh, we're, we're playing just good enough to win some of these games, but we're also killing ourselves. Uh a lot of heat already on Brian Hardison. I mean, a 3-1, and one, but still a lot of heat on him. Nothing's going to be a make-or-break game for both teams. LSU's going to find out if they actually have a good team this year, where Auburn's going to find out what the hell Auburn's going to find out. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, if they lose this game, oh, man. Ooh, it's going to be bad. So uh, that's one to keep an eye on, just for the storylines outside, outside of everything. Uh, 7 p.m. Eastern, ESPNU, Cincinnati, 3-1 and one at Tulane, or at Tulsa, 2-2, two and two, I'm sorry. Uh, Cincinnati's Bryant, 1,217 passing yards, 11 touchdowns. Bryn for Tulsa, 1,318 passing yards and 12 touchdowns. Um, both teams, they're pretty even in the rush in the passing game when you look at their averages. Both teams are racked up in penalties, though. Cincinnati's already had 331 yards of penalties this year. Tulsa is at 286. 7 p.m. Eastern, ESPN Plus. Troy, 2-2 two and two at Western Kentucky, 3-1. and one. Uh, 7 p.m. Eastern, ESPN Plus. Eastern Carolina, 2-2. Two two. Says that South Florida, 1-3, and three, but I think that game got moved also. Check that one if you want to watch that game. Um... 
I don't know if it got moved to another day or, or you know, something. Check it, though, before if you're going to tune into it. 7.30 Eastern, ABC. North Carolina State 4-0 at Clemson 4-0. And I really believe Clemson should be 3-1, but the Wake Forest coach last week screwed all that up with his stupid call playing at the last two minutes. But hey, it is what it is now, isn't it? Uh, average rushing yards for North Carolina State, 158. For Clemson, they're 184. Passing yards for North Carolina State, 254. For Clemson, they're 275. Total uh, Average total yards a game, 411 for Clemson, 459. Or I mean, 411 for North Carolina State, 459 for Clemson. NC State's Larry, 890 passing yards, 9 touchdowns. Uh, Clemson, DJ. He's passed for 100 or 1,033 yards, 10 touchdowns. Shipley for Clemson's got seven rushing touchdowns. Collins has four touchdown catches. So that could be a pretty good one. 7.30 Eastern, CSS. I guess that's Comcast Sports something or, or another. Uh, anyway, Virginia 2-2 two and two at Duke 3-1. and one. Uh, Virginia outrushes Duke, but Duke outpasses Virginia. Uh, 382 total yards is what Virginia averages. Duke averages 461 total yards. 7.30 Eastern, SEC Network. Georgia 4-0 traveling to Mizzou, who is 2-2. Two two. Uh, actually, the rushing yards between these two teams, their averages are pretty even. Uh, but you, but um, Georgia, their passing game just kills Missouri. Georgia averages 532 total yards a game, where Missouri averages 395. So, see if they can get any better on Saturday night. 7.30 Eastern, Big Ten Network. Indiana, 3-1, and one, going to Nebraska, 1-3. and three. Indiana, they outpass Nebraska. Connor Baselick, 1,171 passing yards, seven touchdowns, and he's thrown four picks. Um, Nebraska does outrush Indiana, though. Grant's got five rushing touchdowns. 408 total yards is what Indiana averages. Uh, 451, more total yards. Nebraska averages 451 a game. Uh, both teams are actually under 185 yards of penalties this year, so that's a lot better than some of the teams that we have seen. Indiana, they have gotten 96 first downs this year, where Nebraska's got 103 first downs. Uh, 7.30 Eastern, ESPN Plus, UAB 2-1 two and one at Rice 2-2. Two and two. Rice playing some pretty good game, pretty good football. Uh, I'm going to a game later. Later this year, I can't wait to go go check them out in person. Uh, UAB outrushes uh, outrushes Rice, but Rice outpasses UAB. Uh, McBride for UAB's got five rushing touchdowns. McMahon for Rice has eight passing touchdowns, and Broussard has six rushing touchdowns. So Rice might give them a game. I mean, UAB is good. Good. I would be surprised if UAB won, but hey. Seven thirty Eastern, FS one. West Virginia, 2-2, two and two, who's, uh seems to be on the rise since they lost uh, since they lost that first. Who did they lose to Kansas the first game or the second game? Anyway, they seem to be on the rise. They're going to Austin to play Texas, who's 2-2 two and two now. Uh, after that loss in Lubbock last week, we'll see how that affects them. West Virginia actually outrushes and outpasses Texas. Uh, West Virginia's Daniels, he's got seven passing touchdowns. Donaldson's got six rushing touchdowns. Uh, Texas Robinson, he does have seven rushing touchdowns himself. West Virginia, they have gotten 114 first downs this year. Texas has only gotten 88. West Virginia has racked up 240 yards of penalties this year, where UT has racked up 184. 7.30 Eastern, CBS Sports. Uh, this one might be a decent game. San Jose State 2-1 and one at Wyoming 3-2. and two. San Jose State outpasses Wyoming, but Wyoming outrushes San Jose State. So we'll see which game comes through. San Jose State, 338 total yards a game is what they average. Wyoming, 305 total yards a game is what they average. San Jose State has only gotten 54 first downs this year compared to Wyoming, who's gotten 85. 54 is pretty low from what we've seen from these uh, from these last few games we've been talking about. 8 p.m. Eastern, ACC Network, Georgia Tech, who's uh, kind of in shambles right now, 1-3. and three. At Pitt, 3-1. and one. Uh, Pitt outrushes and outpasses Georgia Tech. Georgia Tech's averaging 312 total yards a game, where Pitt's averaging 419. 8 p.m. Eastern on uh, Flow, 
floweth f l o f uh, streaming service I guess or a streaming app or something. Anyway, you're gonna have um, Florida International one and two at New Mexico State one and four. Nine thirty Eastern Pac twelve Network Colorado zero and four. And uh, Arizona two and two. Who Arizona is not a bad team this year. They're actually playing a lot better than they have been. But Colorado averages only 261 yards a game. Uh, Arizona averages 427. So, I don't know about that one. All right. So, that's the beginning of the late games. We've got two more late games. 1030 Eastern on ESPN. Arizona State 1-3 and three at USC 4-0. Uh, Arizona State kind of in turmoil right now, firing Herm Edwards. And they lost last week. Uh, I don't know. But anyway, both those teams average under 200 yards rushing a game. Both average over 200 yards passing. So it's kind of a weird stat there. Uh, USC's Williams, 100 or 100, 1,054 yards and nine touchdowns. Uh, Addison, he's got six touchdown catches for USC. And your last, which could be a good game. Um, if you looked at the records, you wouldn't think it. 11 p.m. Eastern. On FS1, Stanford 1-2 and two at Oregon, 3-1. and one. Uh, Stanford played Washington pretty tough last week for a while. So Stanford's not that bad of a team, even though they're 1-2. and two. Uh, Let's see. Stanford is rushing and passing average yards uh, and of total yards are kind of close with Oregon. So, I mean, hell, you never know. Uh, Stanford's McKee has six passing touchdowns. Oregon's Knicks. You got 10 passing touchdowns. That is it for week five. That's your lineup. Like I said, those games affected by the hurricane. I know South Carolina for sure tonight and Florida for sure on Sunday. All those other ones, just check and see when they're going to be if, you, if you're interested in watching them. Uh, anyway, once again, you guys in Florida and you guys on the path of the storm, prayers to you. Uh, we've been through that shit too many times down here on the Texas Gulf Coast, so we know what you're going through. Uh, you'll make it. Be strong. All right? Have faith. Be strong. Uh, you'll get through this. Uh, everybody else be safe. Be careful. Uh, got the rest of today and then tomorrow and then the weekend is here. We'll see you back uh, Sunday to go over these games uh, for this weekend. Later.